The new Volvo XC60 SUV landed on the scene a full two years after its bigger brother XC90 received a complete redesign, both S.U.V.'s predecessors were on the shelf past their expiration dates. As a result, the second generation XC60 feels at least a couple of years ahead of the model it's replacing, the interior alone is in a different time period, and it has plenty of tech to show for it. But Volvo is also letting the XC60 have a bite of its bigger brother's T8 powertrain. On paper, the XC60 T8 is nothing short of a sports car with 400 horsepower and 472 pounds to foot of to work on tap, courtesy of the 2.0-liter turbocharged and supercharged four-cylinder paired with an electric motor and an eight-speed automatic transmission. This is the top power plant in the XC60 lineup. The 2.0-liter and line 4 pumps out 313 horsepower by itself, then gets help from an 87 horsepower electric motor and a 10.4 kilowatt hours battery. The combined output places the XC60 in an exclusive club, especially for a Volvo, with a choice of momentum, R design and inscription trim for buyers. The inscription trim I drove was essentially the everything in the kitchen sink version, the luxury is nice. But whether this top engine makes much sense for Volvo buyers given the premium in price is another matter. The performance stats don't lie, this version of the XC60 can haul. Acceleration is brisk in the same way that a V8 can provide the growl and the climbing revs, but when it comes to braking the SUV is a bit more fidgety, providing varying degrees of nose diving with different applications of the brake pedal. The nose diving is perhaps the single biggest flaw in the XC60's handling as the touchy brake pedal produces a nervous kind of stopping. The braking effect itself is immediate and very strong, but it ultimately comes with the price of too much dipping even with gentle tapes of the pedal. This quality takes a couple of days to get used to and requires a much gentler touch than in most other cars to keep the item sitting in the passenger seat from flying forward. Best to stick with the more thrilling acceleration. The interior is still one of the main selling points of the XC60 and it feels more natural in the scale than in the larger XC90, the latter can feel a little ungainly due to its sheer size and touchy handling at crawling speeds. The XC60, on the other hand, feels just right, it's not too big, it's not too small, and the proportions of the interior make things a little more within reach, lending it the feel of a large station wagon rather than a big SUV. The T8 inscription is the top dog in the XC60 lineup so there is no avoiding the bill price of something with just about all the boxes picked, in this case $71,590. The T8 inscription's starting price of $57,695 overlaps the starting price of the larger XC90, and is well over the $43,000 starting price of the Bass XC60 itself. So one has to really be in love with the concept of a money no object Volvo utility to go this route, this route.